I am on Oxford Street in central London, not just to show you all of the buses that keep going past behind me. There's one now. It's a Red London bus. How very exciting. But the actual reason I'm here is for what is currently hiding behind that bus, or slightly behind my head, the Twist Museum. I don't really know what a Twist Museum is, but it came up on a list of cool tourist attraction things for us to do in central London. So we're going to go over there and do the cool tourist attraction thing in central London, the Twist Museum. Come on. So there it is the Twist Museum. And as you can see, it has a twisty lamp post outside of it. We actually walked past it. We've been looking for it for about the last 10 minutes. It is uh, pretty nondescript from outside until you notice the, uh, the strange lamp post thing. But now we're going in. So we are in, and one excellent thing straight away, free lockers. More tourist attraction places should have free lockers. So I've been able to dump my shopping bags, my bag, all in there. Um, there's a vending machine as well, so you can get a beverage if needed. But yeah, we are we are good to go and unladen, which is perfect. So as we go through here, yeah, has your mind been messed with yet? I feel like I'm in the mind of a psychopath. Yeah. Oh, I like this uh, nice. So I'm seeing. It says, "Where did all the colour go?" I'm thinking, I like this bright yellow room. So is this not colour? We look black and white. I think everything looks yellow. Goldy, I'd say, but yeah, black and white. Really? Mm. Maybe us colourblind people experience this differently. Such is the world of illusions. I don't know about. It's making me look like a fat old man. I don't yeah, understand. I don't know where my ears come from. Yeah. Oh, dinner. Magic. Beauty without colour. I don't... I'm not seeing anything any different. I mean, I am colourblind, but that just looks the way donuts always look. It says no colour on that, supposedly. Uh, it looks pink. That's pink to me and blue. And yeah. Pink. So what's it saying about no colour? I'm still seeing... Oh, they look. That looks like a normal burger. Now the light's coming on to be like, it had colour all along. Yeah, they always look like they had colour. I mean, they didn't look pink, I suppose. Uh, I think this is my colour blindness. This uh, is the colourless well, room, apparently. Colourless, but these all look colourful. <laughs> there really should have been a warning on the way in that everything in this first section is all to do with colour. So we've got a colour illusion thing over there. What are we looking at on here, Pabby? Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're holding these up and seeing something different, are we? Okay, so blue, put the red one over then. Yeah, okay. The green. Yeah, let's try the green as well. Yeah, it's definitely showing something different. That is odd. All right, so this is the Kaleidoverse. Ah, that's the ceiling. Give me some light. It's a kevlidoscope. Is there supposed to be some light in here? It looks There's completely dark. Everywhere. Is it? Nice. I can't see me anywhere. All I can see is me that normally. Is really that is really weird. It's like all of the multiverse of Kev, just everywhere. You know, can you feel them all from the angles? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing. I haven't seen it. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Welcome to the cheap look verse. Whereas when you come in, boys and girls, this is why I was yeah. so confused. It's when you're stood here and just looking out, you just see a load of dark mirrors and you're like, well, what are you lot seeing? It's more impressive from outside than inside. But that is pretty cool. You're right. The Pabs version, it'll just be loads of different like costumes and superhero variants. It's all the Pabs. All those different Northern shirts. Look at them. <laughs> so many... Uh, pretty light things in here. What's this mirror? Whoa! That is just a flat mirror, but feels like it's not. That's so weird. What are these two looking at? Let's have a little look over here, shall we? What are we looking at over here? Just a never-ending dimension. Oh, cool. Yeah. I want to go there. How do I get there? Through the top, probably. Oh no, there's glass on it. Kind of crawl through I imagine it. that top piece slides off so you can drop down into it. How would you get out though? I would stay there. 
what we're looking at in here then. Yeah, there's loads of pubs. Pubs in there looking at himself. <laughs> Hello there. Is there lots of me? I bet you'd like there to be this many of me in real life. This is great. Yeah. Multicare. <laughs> Can you find the hidden s it's in his head. Can you find the hidden skull? It's there like, it is. It's like here. <laughs> yeah. It's not that hidden, was it? I was just doing ball jokes, really. Your hidden dimension again. It's another mirror that makes me look like a fat guy. I was going to say, I looked at him, it doesn't look any different to me. Where's the one that makes me skinny? That's just all I've got there is legs. Yeah, because it's stretched just so long. <laughs> Oh, and this one is just, like just chest. Like, uh, oh, I'm hungry, Kev. Look at me, I'm hungry. I'm nah. I will change the way you look. What have we got in here? Oh, it's me. It's Ke YouTube's Kevin Chapman. We always knew you were a genie. Oh, there he is. Look, giving it some dancing. I like it, I approve. Oh, there was more Kevin in there for a moment. Well, oh, this looks dangerous. Infinite. The infinite vault. There you go, you said how do you get in there? You go into the infinite vault. Well, then we shut the door on you. No, sadly not. What's this here? Oh, oh, it's just showing yeah. that, that is, yeah, and there are backline. Just mirrors. It's always mirrors That's with these things. So what have we got going on in here? Hidden image illusion. There you go. Is there an illusion? It's got Sherlock Holmes on it. Which square is darker? Don't know. They're probably both the same. Is that the idea? Do they slide? Oh, it's to prove that they are exactly the same. Which they are. But it is mad, isn't it? Absolutely mad. Which square is darker, A or B? So... It's the same! I don't understand how that one works. So this one is a sound lab. So you go in here and do all the sound things. Which the microphone's probably not gonna pick up very well. Sounded like someone pouring water. Right, through to the next bit then. What have we got here? Is the blue dot you see when looking at the sky the same? I don't know what that means, but what's this? What have we got going on here? We've got a big, a big cube of light. Oh, okay. Now it's a really big cube of light. That's quite cool. Have a seat, take five, watch the lights, and think about what you've experienced so far. Well, if you insist. Let's take a seat and experience the lights. That's what the instructions tell me to do. Okay, this is quite cool. Let your mind open to the rhythm as it rotates. Mind open. I think we're entering Spider-Man's lair now. The vortex room. 
There was a room like this in the um, cinema museum in Turin, wasn't there? It's a little room that I don't think ever made it into the video. It looks very cool on the camera. Better on the camera than it does in reality, actually, because of the way it's lit. I've seen this one before with the, uh, with the arrows. The ruler is there, sir, if you'd like to measure. Mind blown! The falling up room. Enter the room carefully. Do you feel dizzy? Um, not really, it's just a sloping floor. Should I feel dizzy? A little bit. I felt dizzy walking towards it, and then I'm like, oh, it's just it's like... Yeah. I want to catch you vomiting in here. It's still time. Apparently there's a spot to get to, I don't understand. Does it look like I'm underwater? Oh, yeah. Does it? I don't know what you're seeing. This is cool. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm going in here. This looks fun. Oh, there's a TV up there. Yeah, where's the there's a camera there? Okay. So we've got like a screen up there, camera there. When Pab films through this window. It should give the same effect that's on that TV screen there, so it should look like a flat room. Does it look like a flat room now? So if I then walk over here, I look tiny. But then if I go over here, I'm enormous. I don't know if the camera's picking it up right. If you stand there and I'll... Yeah, so the, uh, the chair looks like a proper chair. If I get the angle just right, so I have to squat, no, I have to squat a little bit because I'm too tall for it to work. But now it looks like that's a normal chair behind you. But if I do that, you can see that it's actually two pieces of chair on the floor. So from the photograph spot, we look like we've got a massive pair of 3D shoes on the wall. But again, if you come around here, you'll see that it's just, it's just flat. It's just a, a picture. It's a picture. It was a picture all along. Who knew? Good, goodbye shoes. Yeah. Big shoes. God, it's a handsome man. Oh, it's me. Thought there was a really handsome man in here. So we'll have a little look in the shop, see if there's anything to purchase. So I do like to make a purchase when I come to a place. I especially like things that are whizzy. So I might get a whizzy puzzle. Oh, they've got big potato games in here. We have the chameleon at home. It's a good game. We also have Sounds Fishy at home. Several of these are games we already own. What? Decision maker. Yes, you should get one of those. Absolutely, you should get one of those. You've got Colour Brain as well. I'm just picking out the big potato games. There's some cool stuff in here. Some cool books. Illuminated apparel. I suspect they won't have these in my size. They are quite cool though. We have all sorts of backwards letters. I don't know if I can cope with the backwards letters. Me and Anna saw a, a man performing this in Tenerife. Color block puzzle. What is a bum fuzzle? The hilarious game to confuse the brain. I oh, see it's to do with colours again. It's always with the colours. That's got an app attached to it. Make your day with creative play. I know if uh, Spurs are going to win the league next year. Obviously not. <laughs> it's not a fantasy machine, it's a decision maker. For the Should no. you give up hope? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you asked a different question. Here. You asked, "Should I give up hope?" The kid guys are going to want to want sleep on it. Uh, again, it's not a predictor; it's a decision maker. <laughs> no, I know. 
Should you just give up and get yourself an Arsenal shirt instead? Ask a friend. Yes, I think you should get an Arsenal shirt instead. Uh, never. <laughs> it's cool though. I'm trying to see like, if I can work out where it's going to go. Bath spaghetti. Nice. And then little puzzly things. I feel like I have to buy something. It's kind of the rule when I come to somewhere like this. You have to buy something. Tempted to get a decision maker. What's the cube? Oh, that is cool. That is very cool. Oh, I had one of these before, but Anna confiscated it because she had to keep untangling it. Infinity cube. Of course you'd want the infinity cube. Oh, Ollie had them. Broke one of the covers off those. And that was the Twist Museum. That was really, really cool. We probably were in there a good half hour, 45 minutes. It was, it was fun. I think if you were the kind of person who actually pays a bit more time reading the instructions and doing things properly, you could definitely spend a little bit longer in here as well. I don't have the attention span, but did still find it fun. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. And it's easy to find on Oxford Street. You can't miss it right in the center of London. I think if you just turn up on the day, it looked like it was 27 pounds to get in. I think we paid 22 pounds per person for booking a week or so in advance. So I'd recommend that you do that. Um, it was really cool, really enjoyed it, highly recommended. As I say, whenever I do any of these videos, trying out these places I've not been to before, if there's more places like this that you think I should come and check out, make a video on, let me know down in the comments section. I come to London a lot. I always do the same thing, but this was something a little bit different. And the next time I come, I wanna do something a little bit different again. So let me know down in the comments section what I should go and do and what we'd like to see in a video. But if you did enjoy this, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for loads more travel and adventure and nerdy stuff. And thank you very much for watching.